Hi guys! Today is the day that you get your first look at the Maid Mary kit from Brandy Kincaid and Feed Your Craft. Now this kit isn't available until next week, 8am um, Eastern Time on the 7th, but I thought in the meantime I would give you a closer look at all the gorgeousness that is in this kit so that you can torch yourself until next week. So let's get into it and have a look what comes in the kit. So first up there are eight gorgeous 6x8 papers and I say papers but these are actually a lovely thick weight card so perfect for popping into pockets in um, a December album or if you're doing it sort of a bit freestyle like me I'm going to use a clear acrylic album so these are perfect for just punching holes in and sticking straight in. So first up is this gorgeous grid of ornaments in this beautiful pale blue color. But don't forget that you get all of these as digital files as well. So um, very easy to recolor if blue is not the color that you're going for this year. This is my favorite paper in the whole kit, this beautiful polka dot. Of course, it was hardly a shock, is it? But this gives you a good idea about all the gorgeous colors in the kit bright and fun and cheery. I know that there's been a lot of kits with um, a lot of black and darker sort of gloomy colors this year but this is definitely much more my style. All wrapped up these would be perfect for putting little photos of presents that you were giving to somebody or you could even write lists of um, what you were giving and who to. This is a lovely subtle um, minty green color that says December details. A lovely background for a page. And then these gorgeous green wreaths, which you'll see soon coordinate really nicely with some of the die cuts and stamps in the pack. Gorgeous Christmas tree season's greetings. And this is just so cute, all the little stamps, Merry Mail. If you um, keep your Christmas cards in your album, I do, I don't tend to get a lot, so they all tend to go into the album in a pocket. This would be perfect for putting in the front of it, and then in the back you could slip in all of your mail. And the last paper in the pack is this really beautiful um, green, kind of a holly pattern. It's got the little berries in there and some leaves. Just lovely. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of the colors in this kit. Next up, the cards, and there are three four by six cards. This first one has a whole bunch of little Christmas trees on this bluey minty green background. Candy canes, my favorite. This is, I love this combo of red and pink together, so this card is definitely gonna be one that will be printed from the uh, digital files a lot. And um, a, a videotape um, for all of those Christmas movies, I guess. I de definitely don't have videotapes anymore, but this is such a cute little retro way of recording all those things you're watching during the season. And then the 3x4 cards, heaps of room for journaling on these. And again, uh, all the cook here for the cookies, definitely, definitely during Christmas during the rest of the year as well but definitely at Christmas um, and the tangle of Christmas lights is that not a holiday tradition for everybody this is another cute journaling card um, and again I'll show you it coordinates really nicely with the stamp welcome to the island of misfit toys this is so cute and Maid Mary, the name of the kit, and hopefully the way we'll be feeling all season long. Another sort of plainer stripe for journaling. Feeling a little grinchy. I'm sure we all know someone um, that will suit this card. I know I do. And that is all the lovely 3x4 cards. Something a little bit new for Feed Your Craft, and I really love it, are these little washi strips and I don't want to ruin these but I'll just show you you can peel them off and they're lovely little washi tape stickers and all these beautiful patterns that coordinate just perfectly with the kit 
there is this beautiful um, red puffy sticker alpha in the kit and it is just the perfect shade of red to go with this kit. And as always an amazing stamp set. This is a 6x4 stamp set and as you can see so many patterns that coordinate with the cards. There's all these little holly leaves with um, the filler in stamps, so so many options for this. Um, like I was saying with the wreaths, there's this um, branch stamp, you could really easily stamp your own wreath by repeat stamping this. Cute little characters and ornaments and scenes, as well as all the lovely little sentiments to go in there. I am so excited to start stamping with this. And last up, there are um, just a million little die cut pieces. So like I said, some of these coordinate with the cards. Gorgeous little um, wreaths. And baubles. Some of these are just so cute. And like I said, I really love that, um, that pink and red color combo together which again is repeated on the candy canes and the little Santas and there's all sorts of um, beautiful sentiments. And just so, so many options for creating cards or adding to your layouts, just so many options. So as you can see, the kit is just beautifully complete on its own, but I could not help myself. I did have to go through my sequin stash and make my own little Maid Mary mix to go with all these beautiful pieces in the kit. So guys, I hope that you have at the very least paused this video so that you could head over to the shop. Uh, use my link down below. It is an affiliate link, but that means zero to you. It just means that I make a tiny commission if you purchase this kit or anything else through the Feed Your Craft store using my link. I am so excited to start using this kit. So excited that I definitely can't wait till December. So I have a couple of projects up my sleeve. And apart from that, bring on the merry, I say. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.